Hey guys, so today we are building a cloud chamber. You may be wondering, what exactly is that? Well, it enables us to see subatomic particles. Kind of geeky, um, and we can't really see the particle, but we can see where they are and where they're going. So we'll take you through the process. Pretty simple, but a fun project to do. Let's check it out. Okay. All right, let's look at the things that we need to build a simple cloud chamber. To start with, you need the actual chamber. We went with a 10 gallon fish tank aquarium, but you can use pretty much any clear container for this. Yeah, you've got to be able to see through it, basically. Yeah. Uh, next is something to absorb the isopropyl alcohol you'll be using. For this, we went with felt because it's nice and fine and it'll evenly mm -hmm. uh, soak up the alcohol. And we um, just glued that to the uh, bottom of the tank. Yeah. It'll become the top, but it's the bottom now. Uh, next up is the actual isopropyl alcohol. We went with just 91% rubbing alcohol. Um, so we'll see how that works. And then you need the base, which will be going over this, but the whole thing's gonna be inverted. For that, we went with a steel sheet that we spray painted black so that you have a nice contrast to be able to see right. everything. And you want it metal because you need this to be conducting the, uh, the cold from the um, uh, dry ice that we're gonna put underneath. Yep. yep. And this is to hold the dry ice. This is just a styrofoam box that we built. We've got the dry ice in here and that'll sit on here. Metal plate on top of the dry ice. Then this will sit on top of that. And there's your cloud chamber. Yeah. So how exactly does it work though? Well, it's relatively simple because as you said, this will be turned upside down. We have the alcohol vapor inside here. It's warmer at the top, colder at the bottom. So it vaporizes because of the, uh, of the warm temperature near the, the top. When it gets to the bottom, it wants to condense. Um, and as subatomic particles move through the uh, vapor very fast, they ionize the, uh, the particles. Uh, and the atoms inside the uh, vapor, that allows it to condense and you get a, a condensation trail um, marking where the actual subatomic particle went, just like a jet plane uh, contrail. Very cool. Well, let's put this thing together and check it out. Cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak the felt in the bottom of our fish tank with isopropyl alcohol. Next, we're gonna flip the fish tank over onto our steel sheet and then um, seal it up with some electrical tape. You don't want any air gaps or anything because you don't want the alcohol vapor just spilling out the sides once it starts cooling. Time to put the dry ice on and then move the fish tank on top. Okay, you gotta use gloves for this because you do not wanna touch the dry ice with your hands. No, this stuff is very cold at about negative 80 degrees Celsius, so you have to be careful with it. Yeah. Safety third. All right, never do this. Okay. All right, and now we wait. You got it. Now what's gonna happen is the base plate is gonna cool down significantly. Make sure that it's nicely sealed. We're not getting vapor coming out. And when that plate cools down, the uh, vapor from the uh, felt at the top is gonna wanna condense near the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll turn the lights off, shine a light through here, and then we should be able to see the contrails from the, uh, from the particles. Let's check it out. All right. That was 
way cool. Actually doing subatomic physics. It's really neat. It's very, but very cool. If you noticed, there was a lot of movement uh, in the vapor in the bottom and ideally we'd like that to be dead still if we can. Yeah. I think we've got some gaps on the bottom where the vapor is, is seeping out. Mm -hmm. So if we can seal that up a lot better, I think the traces will stay in place a little bit longer. Yeah. So let's try and make some improvements and maybe we'll throw in something else. Yeah, let's see. What do you got? Well, we have right here, I pulled this out of an old uh, smoke, smoke detector. detector in a house. It was broken and so I disassembled it because these smoke detectors have a little bit of americium in them which emits alpha particles. And alpha particles are one of the things that will be detected by our cloud chamber here. So we want to see if we can see any alpha particles being emitted by this. We also have a little bit of tritium in some small vials. Those emit beta particles, which are basically just high energy electrons. So we're going to see if we're going to see some contrails from those as well. And those should look a bit different from each yeah. other. We'll put them both in and see what it looks like. Let's check it out. Go for it. Okay, we resealed everything. Yeah. And we've got three radioactive sources in here. What is your first one? The americium, which is an alpha particle emitter. Your tritium. Tritium, which is a beta tritium. particle emitter. And then we've got a Brazil nut, which is supposedly the most radioactive nut you can get. Uh, I think it's uh, potassium, potassium um, isotope. isotope. Yeah, yeah. So but I don't know if we'll see anything, but we put it in there for fun. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's try it out. All right. Get your ice. Mm -hmm. That's cold. And three. Something like Spread that. Spread it out a bit. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay, put it on. All right. Move it over. Uh. That way. There she goes. There we go. All right. Oh, that's a nice you seal. Good seal this yeah. time. Okay. All right, let's try it. All right. That was definitely a success of an experiment. It was very cool. Never done this one before. No. Super easy for you guys to try. Um, a lot of fun, cool science project. Yeah. Uh, whatever you want to do, just it's kind of mesmerizing. Just sit and watch these mm -hmm. things. Definitely got to something from the Mericium. Uh, yeah, you can see yeah. those quite clearly. The Tritium, very small, very fine, but yeah. there was something there. It took us a while to spot, but then once we did, you could see they're everywhere. Just little specks right. showering out around it. It was very cool to watch. And luckily the Brazil nut doesn't have any radiation you can see. That makes me feel better. Yeah, <laughs> I can continue eating them. Yep. So cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable for you as it was for us. Yeah, be sure to like if you like this video, subscribe so you can keep watching all our latest videos. Um, thanks for sticking with us guys. Cheers. Until the next one.